Hi, I'm Ben and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Our mission is to motivate you to invest for your financial freedom. Whether that means escaping the 9 to 5 drudgery or just improving your quality of life, I'm here to help you by providing you with valuable investing tips and strategies. Due to the recent global issue, which shall not be named, the economy has stalled and the stock market has taken major hammering. Is the world about to end? Or is this the greatest time to invest in some bargain stocks? If you believe like me that the economy will recover as it has done so many times before from previous recessions, then now could be a great time for you to start investing. Aviva is a classic British institute. As the largest insurance provider in the UK, it serves over 15 million customers in the UK and over 30 million customers across 16 countries. The types of insurance Aviva offers range from car insurance to pension plans to critical illness cover and even pet insurance. This stock is one of the lowest cost in the FTSE 100 right now. So in this video, I'm going to give you a full stock analysis and show you whether I think it's a great investment. As a little teaser, I did purchase shares in Aviva. Let's dive in. Before we get started, go ahead, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to turn the notification bell on, that way you'll get notified when I release future videos and stock picks. It's good to be first on the scene when an interesting stock is at a great price. Central banks from around the world have unlocked trillions of dollars worth of funding to make sure the financial system stays liquid and doesn't collapse. So far, their measures seem to be working. Eva is an historic institute and can trace its roots back to the establishment of the Hand and Life Fire Insurance Society in London back in 1696. Modern day Aviva was created as a merger of two British insurance firms, Norwich Union and CGU, back in 2000. Deep diving into the Aviva stock, we can see that it's trading at 67.6% below its fair value, which is incredible. Revenue is forecast to go at 3.96% per year and the earnings grew by over 64.8% over the past year, which is also incredible. Looking at the risks, we can see that earnings are forecast to decline for the next three years by 3%, which isn't a good sign. And it does have a high level of debt and a volatile share price. The volatile share price we can put down to the global issue, which we won't mention on YouTube, but that's not an issue really. These two, We'll further investigate those. So moving on, as you can see the valuation here, you've got the share, va share price versus fair value. Now this software calculates what it thinks is gonna be the fair value of the stock, looking at its earnings growth and future earnings growth and PE ratio, etc. So as you can see, its fair value is calculated at £7.50 a share. And currently, its shares are trading at just £2.43, which is amazing. This is 67.6% undervalued. Now, I purchased this stock a couple of weeks back at probably 70% undervalued, which is also great. But even today, it's still, as you can see here, significantly below fair value. So it, Warren Buffett would say that this stock has a margin of safety. PE ratio, this is a price to earnings ratio. As you can see, that's good, which means it's good value compared to the insurance industry, which has an average PE of 10.8. This stock has a PE of 3.8. So it's good value. The earnings are forecast to decline over the next year, so the PEG ratio has not been calculated. Price to book ratio is very good value. So it's just 0 0.5 compared to the insurance average of 1.2, which is a great sign. Now this forecasted earnings growth of minus 
This could be due to the recent global issue, or it could be also to do with some internal issues with inside the business. Past performance, 20.4% annual earnings growth. Return on assets, return on capital employed. So that's good here. So it's got last year 1.1% compared to the industry 1%. So it's a little bit better. Financial position analysis. Now, this is a really important part which you need to investigate before investing into any stock. You need to check that its short-term and long-term liabilities do not go massively over its assets. So as you can see, in the short term, it's fine. So in the short term, Aviva has more assets than liabilities, which is a great sign. However, in the long term, it has slightly more liabilities than assets, which is a little bit worrying. So that's the risk of investing into this brand. And there's your balance sheet there. And it's you've got, you've got the debt there which is the issue. Dividend, this is really great. 13.28% dividend. Now that is fantastic. It's a real nice dividend. You can really feel that if, you're, if you've got a large investment in this stock. Insider trading, now this is the worrying part. So shares sold versus shares brought. As you can see here, 30th of March, there was quite a few sell-offs, which is not a great sign. However, Let's see what price they were selling at. £2.69 a share. They were selling most theirs at. There was a purchase in 2019, September. So £2.69, there was quite a few shares at that value. Now, what is it today? Let me just remind myself. So it's, it's lower now today. So they were selling it at a slightly higher price. So obviously, it, the envisioned envisioned shall i say that there was going to be a drop in value and then they've sold off but overall on balance looking at the industry as a whole i think it's worth a small investment this shows who are the top shareholders in the company here vanguard's got a portion blackrock etc question you've always got to ask yourself before investing into any company during a recessionary period is, will they survive the recession? And me personally, looking at such a giant as Aviva and their, their business setup, I believe they will survive and they will prosper in the future. And they're such a well-known brand with so many customers around the world that I do believe they will prosper despite the risks. That's why you always invest in these companies with a margin of safety, as Warren Buffett suggests. Overall, Aviva is a great brand, a mammoth of the UK insurance industry, and a great value stock at this time. Warren Buffett would approve. Its past earnings growth of over 60% during the previous year, and a high dividend of over 13%. The only risks I can find with investing in this giant is it has slightly higher liabilities than assets in the long term and also there were a few insider trading sell-offs. But despite this, the margin of safety offered by its great price and previous year's earning growth has encouraged me to add this insurance giant to my portfolio. Also, personally, I think from a psychological aspect, people will be more inclined to take out insurance due to the recent unprecedented event as now people realise that anything can happen in this crazy world, so they'll want to protect their families, their cars, and even their pets even more, which is great business for Aviva. Be sure to check out my other videos, where I analyse five stocks I purchased during the previous stock market crash, which has seen me up by £1,000 in just seven days. Now, as a long-term investor, this increase doesn't really make a difference to me but it's still nice to watch your portfolio grow over such a short period of time. This suggests a possible V-shaped recovery from this recession. I also have a video reviewing the free trading apps, which make it really easy to get started investing. I've included a couple links below, which will give you a free share when you sign up. But remember, on this channel, we don't give financial advice. 
So please evaluate the stock yourself, research it yourself, assess your own investing goals and your own budget before investing into any stock we mention on this channel. I would love to know your thoughts on Aviva as a business and as a stock, so please do comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, smash that like button and definitely subscribe. See you next time.